It's the 8th of May and it's been a beautiful day. It's been about 28 degrees and I know that tonight is going to be not far off 11. So an absolutely balmy, perfect day for catching moths. And this is all my moth catching equipment. And on this very special VE day, I'm going to try and catch a couple of monster moths. Now you can hardly see me and you won't be able to smell the heavenly perfume of this horse chestnut tree. And you can see right up there. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. And what moths love is this particular night with the smells and they're going to be scooting about like nobody's business. So hopefully tonight will be a fabulous night for catching moths. So there we go. My white dust sheet down like this. That's perfect. And then I put that in the middle and that's the trap. And it's got all the keys inside it. That's the lid, egg cups, which is very useful to allow insects in and somewhere to, to land. A box of magic tricks, transformer. So there we go. All of those old eggshell boxes, they need to go in there so that um, so that the moth has got somewhere to land. So there's lots in there. Like that. Lovely. And then tomorrow, I hope, we will be greeted with a hawk moth. There's the lid. So once they go in, they can't come out. And that is my special mercury vapour bulb goes on there like that. Now I've put I've put it in here tonight because it looks like it could rain and if moths get wet you can imagine they really don't enjoy that. So I can now plug it in. Fingers crossed, seems to be working. I haven't used it for a while. So here I am looking at the mercury vapor bulb down there, which is throwing off lots of um, ultraviolet light. And that's the thing that's going to attract the moths. So this little bulb up here is just your standard light bulb, which works quite well if you don't have anything else but I will turn that off and I'm going to leave that guy to work its magic and see what happens in the morning. It is an absolutely perfect evening. So those moths, we've got roughly two and a half thousand species. And of course we end up with more because the warmer it gets, the more moths migrate from Europe. So at the moment, it's roughly two and a half thousand. Now, the ones that I'm particularly interested in are the hawk moths and they're the big ones. And they're the size of a bat. And we've got the privet hawk moth, which is the big one. And he looks like he's wearing a rugby shirt. He's got pink and black stripes and he looks really awesomely cool. And then, of course, there's the camouflaged one too, the lime hawk moth, which looks amazing. And there's a really bright pink one called the elephant hawk moth. So fingers crossed we'll catch one of them tonight. Well, the morning has come, not soon enough for some. And here we are, we're going to do a little inspection to see what we've caught. So this beautiful little moth is the cinnabar moth. It's black and red, but when it eats ragwort, it's got that wonderful yellow and black banding. Anyway, so we've turned off the mercury vapour lamp. So we'll put it over there. Oh, look, there's another one. I've never caught those during the night, so that's kind of interesting. So if I put this cinnabar moth on my 
finger. Look at her. Isn't she lovely? She's a girl. That is an absolute cracker, if I can get it. This is a really lovely little thing. It's the, the cinnabar moth that we just caught, but it's a day flying moth. So why I caught it last night, I can't imagine. But I caught quite a few and if I just touch her, she might fly off. Let's just have a little look. So pretty. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Look at that. Oi! Off she goes. And there it is. Landing on a daisy. But actually, they're obviously black and red for a reason. And they will taste very bitter. Not that I've eaten many ragwort, but that's where they lay their eggs. That's where the caterpillars feed. And as a result, it's not a nice moth to eat for those birds. So I'm not overly fussed that it's sat here now in the garden. But it is lovely to see absolutely gorgeous i'm really enjoying this little photo shoot and i'm trying to track it there it is in the sunshine it's about to land again and again look it's such a delicate little thing and yet it flutters beautifully and quite strongly into the long grass There it is. Oh, look at that with the sunlight coming through. There we go. Oh, and it's off.